was 20, um, 2014, I remember, and it was for, um, um, what's it called again? No, 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 no the, the name of the show. Fiesta. Fiesta, yeah. Yeah, that was the first show I did. I remember that one well. And the second time I came, Bronxy brought me, you know, yeah. So ever since then, this has been home for me. Yeah, first album, second album, third album, and this is the fourth album. Yes, it's called Word Best because um, I'm the word best, <laughs> you know? And um, it took us about two years in making. While making the album, I'm not gonna lie, I had a good time. We enjoyed the process. And that is how I want you to feel when you listen to the album. You know, different music. And one thing I want you to know about this album is it sets, it sets the tone and it sets the pace for what is to come. So where I'm headed to, um, this actually is, it explains or it will explain, you have an idea of where Pat Rankin is headed to in life. You know, and what best because it's an affirmation. You know, if I'll take you back to the beginning of my career, I remember when I had my first song called Alubarika. You know, when I sang Alubarika, I said Alubarika, Alubarika from Lagos to America. You know, I've never been out of Lagos or Nigeria, let me say. Uh, no, out of the continent. I don't even have a passport, you know, and. Um, no, when I sang Alubarika, I remember, okay, I've been to Ghana, so, but you know what it means, what, what it feels like when, you, when you're traveling abroad and, you know, going to Europe or, you know, the rest of the world, you know, and everything I said in that song came to reality. Yes, that is, or that was the affirmation I had, um, and everything changed when the song dropped. You know, I had another song again called Another Level. A little Marie, change up me level, bam, bam. You know, the same thing. I, I, since I moved from nothing to something, I wanted to go to another level. And everything changed, you know. It's just like saying you're putting faith to work, putting faith in my job. And now world best, that's what my friends and families, that's what they've been calling me for years. So I said, okay, it's time. And, you know, if that's who they say I am, yes, that's who I am. I am world best. And yes, the whole idea is global domination, taking Africa to the world, you know. And yes, this is it. Thank Sour. You. <laughs> Thank you. Um, on the side of Tennessee, who are... No, I like to tell people that um, I'm an African musician because... I make all type of music, you know, I could wake up today and it's rap. For me, it's just how I want you to get the message, you know. I grew up in the ghetto, and back home in the ghetto, we have our own genre called Galala. So Galala is like a stepchild of dancehall music. Yes, yes, yes. And we all love Galala music because he speaks for the masses, he, you know. We find love in Galala music. There's consciousness, like, you know, you want to talk to the government, it's that kind of genre, you know, and that was what I grew up, you know, listening. Even though I had influence, um, I was influenced heavily by the likes of Bob Marley, you know, Lucky Dube, name them, many of them. You can't take that part out of me, you know. Music is still music. Take, for example, I have a song in Nigeria that I called Nobody we no fit to make up. Because it's a song that um, sounds like an advice, you know, to everyone. If you look at the mass majority in Nigeria, they, they, they all speak pidgin. You know, it, it's very easy for me to pass that message, you know. So for me, I don't, I don't want to be boxed. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy coming up in that space in Nigeria as well, you know. Because Galala music, 
I would say used to be mainstream at a point, you know, but um, since the dominance of Afrobeat, you know, you have to just look for a way to pass the message. For me, it's just music, you know. Um, do we love dance? Or, yeah, we play dance or music in Nigeria a lot. Reggae music, Lucky Zube is big, Bomali is big, Majek Fashek, you know, Raskimono, these are the people they, from the past. And all they do is reggae music, you know. So for me, if the music is right, we will accept it. Nigerians will accept it. You know, even if, um, even if you're, you're speaking gibberish, but if it's, it's, if it's sweet gibberish, you know. Exactly. <laughs> you know already. <laughs> you know, um, one thing about music is you treat them like, um, like your babies. It's hard to say which one is your favorite child, you know. So you're just growing up loving them. Yeah, that, that is it. But one thing I would say is, I would say on this album is um, there's a lot of growth, you know. If you listen to Pato, you know, my first album and the fourth album, you go, oh, nah, that was a boy and this is a man, you know. Yeah. yeah. White Tanzania. Yeah, yeah, it has to be, you know, this is home. This is not the first time we're doing an album listening, by the way. All right? Yes. Yeah, so um, uh, we, it's only right we, you know, we go, we touch places. We're going to different places as well. We just did Kenya, you know, today is Tanzania. Uh, today is, yesterday was Tanzania. Um, um, from here, we're going to Lagos. We're doing Ghana, you know, we're taking it across the world as well. So. Tanzania is home to me. The two of them are my friends. Alikiba and Diamond Platinum. Yeah, the two of them are my friends. Yeah, the two of them. But for real though, like, I, I, I'm close to the two of them, we're close. We meet, we discuss, we talk about family, friends, we laugh, we go out, we party together, we make music, yeah. Except you're trying to ask me who is my favorite friend among you. <laughs> you will never know. <laughs> no, they told them are my guys. They are my guys. Most definitely, um, I have my friend Diamond Platinum on the album. Um, Kolo Kolo is on the album. Yeah. And um, we also have some exciting features as well on the album. September 6th. The album drops. I want you to go crazy. I want you to play every track. Listen, don't don't skip. I want you to play from track one to track fifteen. It's exciting. You'll love it. Even the features, you'll love it. So we're gonna keep some. I mean, you might have heard some somewhere in one or two places, you know. But let's just wait until the track list drops. Um, it's just a statement. Yes, I just want you guys to tell the world that I have a new album coming out on the 6th of September, you know, however you want to tell them, tell them, spread the good news, tell them we have, they should get ready to update their playlist, you know, and um, that's it. Eh? Album in Akuja, September Sita, what best, you don't know, yeah. Asante.